The genesis was in uh, a dictionary of Irish artists that was published in 1913, Walter Strickland, two volumes, um, which served as you know, a research tool for a century effectively. By the end of the century, Strickland was somewhat out of date and it was my colleague in, in UCD Art History, Nicola Figgis, who had the idea to update Strickland. And Strickland um, deals with painters and sculptors. So we moved from two volumes to five because it, we brought in architecture and medieval art and the 20th century. You need a lot of energy for something like this. I mean, this was a six year project we had a huge number of um, artists to choose from. I had um, uh, various people who were going to be there to help me uh, decide on, first of all, what entries were going to be in the catalogue, what essays, what biographies, and eventually we had to cut it down to about 300. Um, simply, there wasn't enough space in the book. You know, a series like this, I wonder will it ever be done again, because um, I suspect that a lot of things will go digital. So this makes this a really important uh, series, I think. These are individual volumes, discrete volumes, um, but they interconnect. So, for example, the image on the back of the architecture volume, a church down in County Kerry, they're looking at the architecture. Come to the sculpture volume, the sculpture that's just a big sculpture just inside the door of that church is covered in my volume. So the, the books interconnect in an interesting way. I hope and I think what will be really valuable is the index. That is going to bring a lot of themes together uh, so that people who are interested in something like miniature painting, for example, will be able to go and, uh, and look up the index or uh, look up on, on certain aspects which probably aren't highlighted in the, the thematic essays. But the index will be a very valuable tool one of my aims actually with this um, is not only that people would sit down and read the book but that they're encouraged to go out and look at sculpture um, because what I find is that um, you know we're not tourists in our own city we're, we're not looking we're all you know listening to things in our ears or whatever it is um, and we're distracted so we're not seeing sculpture and so many people say to me sculpture you know, is there any? Um, well, there is. That's that's the proof.